We finally got the leaks for chapter 80 of Record of Ragnarok, and the plot of this chapter is going to be revolving around Apollo. So at the end of the last chapter, we saw that Leonidas was able to draw blood from Apollo very quickly at the start of the round, and it was a Leonidas-centric chapter. This chapter is going to be an Apollo-centric chapter where we get the reveal of his divine weapon, which we've been patiently waiting on. Now, a lot of people thought it was going to be the bow and arrow, as we've seen that he does wield a bow and arrow in the depictions of him, even in Record of Ragnarok. That is not going to be the case for this fight, at least. He's going to be using a weapon called the Threads of Artemis. They're basically these divine gauntlets slash gloves that have these threads that come out of the fingertips. Now, with this ability, he's supposedly able to manipulate different variations of light attacks, and his fighting style is stated to be that of a boxer that doesn't like to get hit and basically fights from a distance now the threads of artemis of course is a shout out so to speak or an homage to his sister artemis who if you guys did not know apollo and artemis are twins now as far as the leaks go so far we have not gotten a reveal on artemis i would expect one to be coming though if not this chapter we'll get it in the future and as i had speculated before and probably many others apollo is looking to be a speed demon type of character as we see various shots of him dodging all of leonidas attacks and basically using his speed advantage to work his boxing style techniques and honestly, the gauntlets here, they look crazy. Like, he looks beefy as hell in this one photo. Like, it looks like he gained all this muscle mass. I don't know. I mean, I don't mind it. It's definitely a different style of divine weapon for the god side that we haven't seen so far. It kind of reminds me of Tesla's suit. They kind of look like mech suit hands. But they also kind of remind me of Thanos' Infinity Gauntlet. So it's like he's got two gauntlets on each hand. He's just boxing people down. So I'm kind of liking it, bro. I'm not going to lie. I would have thought that the bow and arrow would have been cool. We haven't really seen a rangy god fighter. But as soon as we found out that he wasn't going to be fighting Simo, my expectations kind of got thrown to the wind anyway. So I kind of thought we were in for a surprise when it came to Apollo's weapon now with that being said we also see a panel of him landing a huge punch on leonidas that crumbles his face still has that cigar in his mouth which you still need an explanation as to what that does but this huge fist clearly this man can deal some serious damage on his punches and he's looking majestic as fuck so i think this fight's gonna be very interesting i can't wait it's shaping up to be great and i'm liking both characters abilities so far what are you guys thinking of course when i get the full chapter you know i'll be covering it here make sure you subscribe for that there's also a little promo for the current anime stuff that was just recently released with buddha and zero fuko's fight being released in its entirely round six and if you guys want to see my reactions to the anime they're all being posted on my tiktok right now so go check those out drop a like and let me know what you're thinking in the comments below share it with a friend and i will see you guys in the next one peace